In this video, we're going to look at a newly launched coin which has actually been the most profitable coin to mine on your GPUs for the past few weeks. Of course, the coin I'm talking about is Celis, and mining Celis is finally easy. You see, before now, you've had to mess around with stuff like command line wallets and solo mining directed to your own node, but not anymore. So, as always, I'm going to start the video by quickly explaining in simple terms what the Celis coin project actually is. Then, we're of course also going to look at how to mine it, including what hardware you need, how to set up a wallet, how to mine it in both Windows and Hive OS, how to connect to the mining pool and track your mining earnings, and finally also have a look at where you can exchange and sell your mined Celis. Now, there's one thing I want to mention right here at the start of this video, and that is that mining profitability calculators seem to all just kind of be wrong for sellers, and most people are actually reporting that they are mining significantly more than expected. This is most likely due to profitability websites not really having figured out how to accurately calculate network hash rate and mining difficulty for sellers yet. So, big thank you to the Hero Miners Sellers Mining Pool for making this video guide possible by sponsoring the video, and they're actually doing both 0% pool fees for the rest of this month, as well as a $10,000 giveaway for you guys, so stay tuned for more info on how to enter that giveaway a bit later in the video, but for now, let's get right into it. And quickly first, before we get into what the Sellers Coin Project is all about, there are some things we should always be aware of before jumping on a coin like this, and that is that since Celis is a fairly new coin project, there are always some potential risks to be mindful of and precautions that you should take when mining newer coins like this. And I want to stress here that these are not at all specific to Celis, but there are just general things to always be aware of no matter what project you are mining. Starting with that, while mining newer coins like this can be very attractive to a lot of people because there can be a much higher potential for coin price growth, you know, if you hold all of those mined coins on weight. But there is also, of course, the risk that the coin price might not grow at all, or even go all the way down to zero, which means that if you held all of your mined coins, you've basically lost everything. Obviously, when coins are brand new, there is no track record proving them to be legit, so we can't know for sure until much later in the future if a coin project actually was on the up and up, or just a quick pump and dump, or even just a straight up scam. There can of course also be other risks involved too. For example, there is always a risk that the coin project itself could be nefarious. An example of this that we've seen before is where the wallet app for a new coin is just a disguised piece of malware. So while you think you're installing the official wallet app for a new coin, you're actually just installing a computer virus that will, for example, go and steal all of the crypto from all the other wallets you have installed on your network. So just keep in mind that you should always take extra care if you need to install any app that you can't say for 100% sure that you trust. But don't worry, because I actually have a full video about how to safely install and use wallet apps the easy way, without putting your other wallets, devices or network at risk. I'll link that video down in the video description. And also, again, I want to point out that I'm not saying that any of these risks are necessarily at all the case for sellers. Yes, they are general risks to be aware of when mining newer coins. And I simply want to make sure that I put that in every video where I talk about mining newer coins. So, what exactly is the Celis coin project all about? Well, upon first glance, it might seem like it's kind of nothing special. You know, it's not trying to create a decentralized neuromorphic supercomputer like Dynex. It's not trying to give your smart home devices a way to use AI on the blockchain like Nerai. And it's not trying to create a mathematically pegged privacy stablecoin like Zephyr. But to me, what it seems like Celis is trying to do is it's just trying to build a highly functional modern cryptocurrency from scratch. It's not a lazy fork of an already established coin, but it's also not trying to completely revolutionize the whole world of computing or something like that. Just a solid crypto with all the modern features like smart contracts and assets. Celis uses the programming language Rust, which is the same language that Caspa is transitioning into. And also similar to Caspa, Celis uses a block DAG as opposed to a traditional blockchain. In very simple terms, a block DAG allows for blocks to be ordered in parallel, which allows for a lot of advantages like scalability, much faster transactions, and better security. Celis also seems to be very focused on providing privacy for its users, and it seems a lot of effort has been put into the work on the encryption model for transactions and account balances. But again, 
Celis is still a young project and if it can live up to all of these claims is yet to be fully seen. One last point though is that it seems the developers are very keen on keeping this coin GPU mining focused only, saying they will fork the mining algorithm if there seem to be FPGAs or ASICs on the network. This is of course really good both for us GPU miners, as more projects being focused on GPU mining only means, you know, more money for us to share, and it's also a good call, in most people's opinion anyway, for the actual coin project itself, as it helps with both decentralization and community involvement. So, to wrap things up, in the best of worlds, I could potentially see Celis becoming a better functioning, more popular alternative to Caspa, as the projects are quite similar in many ways. But in the worst of worlds, it could just fail to meet any of the expectations people have for it and die off completely. So what do you need to mind Cell? Well, Celis uses its own algorithm called Celis Hash, which as I mentioned is a GPU mining focused algorithm. So you need either a computer with a decent GPU or a dedicated GPU mining rig. On top of that, you also need a Celis wallet, a mining pool, and a mining software. Starting with the computer, you can basically use any computer with a decent GPU, or if you're wanting to get properly started in GPU mining by building your first rig, I have a short video playlist going over all the best GPUs for mining, both in terms of value for money and power efficiency. I'll link that down in the video description. Down there you'll also find some of my recommended GPUs and mining rig parts listed if you don't care to watch those videos and just want to get started and get the parts right away. Now, one thing to note is that as of right now, Nvidia GPUs are very significantly better at mining cells than both AMD and Intel GPUs. Hopefully this will change in the near future as we see more development on the AMD and Intel mining software for Celis, but as for now, Mining Celis is almost not really worth it unless you have NVIDIA GPUs. Now to get optimal mining performance you'll need to overclock and undervolt your mining GPUs. And to do that you can either just copy some overclock settings from websites like hashrate.no which will give you a decent result, definitely better than just running your GPUs on stock settings which I definitely do not recommend doing. But the best option is always to tweak your overclock settings yourself. And luckily, I have a full video guide for how to do that, both for NVIDIA GPUs and AMD GPUs. So I'll link both of those videos down in the video description as well. Next thing we need to talk about is getting a Celis wallet, which you can think of as your Celis bank account. And if you just want to mine Celis in order to immediately sell or exchange it, I guess you can just mine it directly to an exchange wallet. Now, Mining directly to an exchange is usually not recommended, but as long as you make sure to only get a payout once a day or so from the mining pool, you're usually fine. More on what a pool is and how to change the payout threshold a bit later in the video, as well as what exchanges you can use to swap or sell your mined sellers coins. But if you don't want to mine directly to an exchange wallet, for example if you're wanting to hold your sell longer term, then there are a couple of options available. So if we come to the official website for Celis and click on resources, we can see all of the officially available wallets. As of me making this video, you have the CLI wallet, which is going to be the most robust and also most complicated one to use. You then have their Genesis wallet, which is their GUI wallet, which is easy to download and set up. And finally, there also seems to be a web wallet coming soon, which will be even easier to set up. But for this video, we're going to use the Genesis wallet. Now, that wallet is still an early beta, so it might be a little bit buggy here and there, but really all we need if we wanna hold our coins longer term anyway, is just to quickly set it up once now, get the wallet address so that we can receive coins from our mining, and get the seed phrase for that wallet, which should then let us re-import that wallet if we download a much later version of the wallet software in the future. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I've also got a video guide for how to easily install wallets like this one without putting your other wallets, devices or network at risk. So again, link to that video is in the video description. But moving on, first we need to click on releases for the Genesis wallet and here we can then download the zip file with the Windows installer on Celis' official GitHub page. And at this point you are probably going to have to make an exclusion inside of Windows Defender as well as in any eventual antivirus software you might have for the folder you are downloading this into, as well as jump through any eventual security hoops that your web browser throws at you. Once that's downloaded, extract the file and then just open the folder and double click on the Genesis executable. You might get one of these pop-ups, just click on more info and run anyway, 
And at this point, you are likely going to get an error message about missing DLL files. And that's totally normal and just means that you need to install this Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable, which are official runtime libraries directly from Microsoft themselves, so nothing weird there at least. I'll link this down in the video description. Just download and install both the x86 and x64 versions, then restart your computer and you should be good to go. After that's done, you should then be able to double click on the Genesis wallet and it should open no problem. Then click new wallet, pick a wallet name and password and hit create. It's then going to generate the T1 points, which might take a while, but when that's done, you will have access to your wallet and it should look something like this. First thing, you'll be greeted by your wallet's seed phrase, and this is the seed phrase you need if you ever want to re-import this wallet somewhere else in the future. Just keep in mind that anyone who has your seed phrase can import and access your wallet, so write this somewhere safe where no one can find it, not on your computer or phone, but like in a couple of different hidden notebooks or something like that. Then close that, and next you can simply click on the wallet address here at the top to copy it, Make sure you save that somewhere as we are going to need it in just a little bit. But that is it for the wallet setup. Finally, if you later want to send your mind sellers to a different address or an exchange in order to swap or sell your mind coins, just make sure you're on the wallet tab and click on send. Fill in the amount you want to send and the address you want to send it to. If you're sending it to an exchange, you should be able to find your receiving address on the exchange's website after you log in there. To see what exchanges you can currently trade or sell sellers on, just look up the coin on coingecko.com and scroll down to the markets sections. Of course, I can't vouch for any of these exchanges and you'll have to do your own research on if you're you know, comfortable using them or not. Next we need a mining pool, and for those of you who might be new, a mining pool is just basically a place where you get together with a bunch of other miners for the coin and you split the mining rewards equally based on the hash rate each person has. The reason for doing this is to take the luck factor out of mining so that everyone gets paid fairly. Of course, we're going to go with hero miners for our pool. Not only because they are a long-term trusted mining pool with support for loads of different coins, but also because they made this guide possible by sponsoring the video. You can find their Celis mining pool at celis.herominers.com. Finally, we need a mining software. And depending on what GPUs we have, we are going to either use SRB Miner for AMD and Intel GPUs or Rigel Miner for Nvidia GPUs. So we'll get right into how to download and set those up in both Windows and Hive OS. But first, let me just quickly tell you about this $10,000 giveaway that Hero Miners are doing. And to be entered into this giveaway, all you have to do is just mine Celis on the Hero Miners pool. It really is that simple. In total, there are actually 35 prizes to be won, where 25 miners will each win $100 worth of Celis, 5 miners will each win $500 worth of Celis, and 5 miners will each win $1000 worth of Celis. And the way it's going to work is that at 5 different dates in the near future, Hero Miners will write down all of the wallet address that are currently mining Celis on their pool at each of those 5 different points in time, or as they call it, take snapshots of all the current miners on the pool. And all the addresses in a snapshot get one entry each to possibly win in the giveaway. And since they are doing five different snapshots at five random times throughout this period, you can get up to five entries into the giveaway. Of course, to get all those five entries, you need to make sure you are constantly mining sellers to hero miners so that you don't miss any of these snapshots. And this giveaway is of course not the only reason to use the Hero Miners pool. They're also doing 0% pool fees for all of their Celis miners until the end of this month. And there are many other reasons too for why I genuinely recommend them, like the fact that they have servers all around the world to make sure you always have a strong and fast connection to the pool, and the fact that they make it so easy to track your mining stats and payouts. So I'll put the link to the Hero Miners Celis pool down in the video description. Now. Let's set up our Celis mining, starting with Windows. So to mine Celis in Windows, first we need to download our mining software, either SRB Miner for AMD and Intel GPUs, or Rigel Miner for Nvidia GPUs. To download either of those miners, you just need to come to their official GitHub pages, click on releases, and then download the latest version of the miner by right-clicking on the Windows zip file and choosing Save File As. I'm going to be using Rigel Miner for the rest of this Windows tutorial, but the process is basically the exact same for SRB Miner. 
Now, just like when installing the wallet, we're probably going to have to make an exclusion for the folder we are downloading this into inside of Windows Defender and any eventual antivirus software that you might have, as well as potentially having to temporarily disable any safety features your web browser might have that would otherwise block the download. And the reason we have to do all of this is because mining software is often falsely flagged as malware, since a lot of malware also feature mining software in it. Making these exclusions are of course always done at your own risk, so just keep that in mind. After the zip file is downloaded, just unzip it and then right click on basically any of these back files and hit edit. To fill this out, the easiest way is just to open up celis.herominers.com and click on start in the menu at the top. All we have to do then is scroll down and click on either the Rigel or SRB miner tabs depending on which mining software you are using. We can then just copy what's in this box here and paste that into our bat file. Then we just need to paste in our wallet address that we copied in the wallet a bit earlier and fill in a name for our mining rig. I'll just go with Seb's rig 1. Finally, you just need to hit save as and save this new bat file in the same folder as the others. Make sure you select all files in the file type dropdown, name it something you'll remember like zell-new.bat and hit save. Then just double click on it to run it and that's it. You should now be up and mining Celis. If you're bumping into any sort of issues at this point, you might just need to restart your computer. And as for overclocking in Windows, you can easily just set your OC settings in either Radeon software for AMD GPUs or MSI Afterburner for NVIDIA GPUs. That's for sure the easiest way if you are just looking to mine a bit on the side with your gaming PC or something along those lines. However, if you're wanting to mine on a full dedicated GPU mining rig, you can instead add your OC settings using commands directly inside the bat file we just made. But that said, if you've got a full dedicated GPU mining rig, you're probably using HiveOS anyway. So let's have a look at that next. And setting up Celis mining in HiveOS is even easier. First of all, just make sure HiveOS is updated to the latest version on your mining rig. Then if you have AMD GPUs, just add the overclock settings to your GPUs inside the worker dashboard like normal. But if you have Nvidia GPUs, it's better to put the OC settings inside of the actual flight sheet when mining Celis. We'll have a look at how to do that in just a little bit. But for now, just go to your flight sheets and create a new flight sheet. Select cell as the coin, hit add wallet and fill in your wallet address, name it and hit create. Then in the pool section, select hero miners as the pool and pick the server that is closest to you to get the fastest possible connection. Then in the miner field, either pick Rigel miner if you have Nvidia GPUs or SRB miner if you have AMD GPUs. And if you have Nvidia GPUs and want to add your overclock settings in the miner config, just hit setup miner config and in the extra parameters box, this is how you add your core clock, core offset, memory clock, memory offset and power limit. If you have multiple GPUs and want to give them different OC settings, just separate each GPU with a comma like I show here. After that, you just name your flight sheet and that is it. You can now apply this flight sheet to any GPU mining rig to start mining Celis to your wallet. Finally, to track your mining earnings, just go back to celis.herominers.com and make sure you are on the home tab in the top menu. Then you scroll down and paste your wallet address in the field labeled your stats and payment history and hit look up. You'll then be presented with all your mining statistics and you should be able to see all your mining rigs, your earnings and payouts. You can then also click on the settings button in the top menu and here you can change your minimum payout threshold if you want, which is a good way to make sure your payments are less frequent. For example, you might want to do this if you're mining directly to an exchange wallet. Next, I'd recommend you watch this video to learn how you can make some educated predictions about what coin price a project like Celis could realistically hit in the future. And if you're going to mine some Celis, I also highly recommend you watch this video on how to safely set up wallets for new coins the easy way. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.